Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Robert Ronan here again, and in this video we'll be talking about how to play Toge Inumaki in uh, Jujutsu Kaisen Cursed Clash. Now, um, I might just start this by saying it's a little bit too early to say this, but I feel like Toge Inumaki might be the weakest character in the game, or maybe with the weakest characters in the game. Uh, for various reasons, it just seems like he has a lot of uh, unnecessary limitations and a lot of weaknesses and his things that are meant to be his strengths are either like kind of strong but not strong compared to the other strengths of other characters in the game they're just not strong enough to cover up for his weaknesses is what i'm trying to say so what's meant to be really strong about toge inumaki at least you know from what i can tell is that his cursed abilities are meant to do lots of damage like they knock the opponent down they have a decent hitbox especially when i'm at higher levels they're meant to just do tons of damage when i say like blast away or get twisted or something and i just deal tons and tons of damage from my combos um particularly when i've built up a little bit of cursed meter so yeah and when i do my specials particularly when i'm at level three they do a lot of damage but although that is yes kind of a lot of damage there are many other characters in the game that can get that level of damage quite easily like even for me just thinking off the top of my head a nobara with a like a straw doll or gojo with literally any projectile or sukuna doing anything any special or i even played a little bit with hanami most of their attacks do more damage than this and that was only tons of damage when he's at level three. Like, I just, I just don't really understand. And you might be thinking, okay, well, if you know his strengths aren't that good, then what are his weaknesses? And in my opinion, his weaknesses is that off of most of the times he touches you, he's not going to be getting damage. And that's the thing about this game: your regular attacks and your regular combos, if they don't have a special in them, they're not actually going to deal proper damage. They're just going to be building up your cursed gauge. So of course, if I hit my opponent with this regular attack. I'm gonna get that little piece of damage. Now, keep in mind that this does have to be a regular attack, so I do have to be in the range that I can hit this and just go for that as a full combo, and that is a simple way that I can get damage. But if I perhaps get a my unblockable launcher, and you know, my opponent isn't nearby, so I wanna get a combo off of it. If I try to do my full combo, it'll take my cursed my my cursed um meter and try and do the last part of that attack string, but the opponent was blasted away and they won't get hit by the last part that actually does damage. And unlike some other characters, he also can't just combo into any of his specials because they don't reach that this distance. So he can't do anything that will do damage after he gets a launcher on his own, which is something most of the characters in the game can do. Now if we're also talking like off of other combos, if I get something like my down circle and I get this stun, if I try to go for my regular attack string and you know, just get a little bit of damage, but it is not gonna work because it simply it will blast the opponent away before I get to do the fall down part that actually does damage. And this will be a very common theme you'll see when you start trying to train combos with Inmaki, that a lot of stuff just doesn't let you go into damage. The only time that I've found you're able to get a full combo, like your full combo attack string, apart from just landing it on itself, okay. is if you land this, your triangle button, when you're near a wall and the opponent bounces off of the wall. So if we can get him to, yeah, there we go. They slightly bounce off of a wall. Then in that specific scenario, you can get this. Also the same thing if you are really close to a wall and you land your circle or B attack string. If you're at the perfect spacing where they, yeah, even that was kind of wrong because he moves really weirdly. Let me try again, maybe from this angle. Nope, that was also wrong. Let me try one more time. Otherwise, I'll cut this. There we go. So see, if you have the perfect spacing, you can also use this as a way of going into his damaging attack string. But the thing is that that's very, very specific. You have to be near a wall to combo off of those things. Otherwise, you just actually get nothing. Like, you can't combo that into this. Maybe if the opponent recovers, you can get something like that. But you can't combo into a special because his special doesn't reach from here and his other special is just a parry. So he has to rely on getting some weird like dash in and hitting the opponent as they recover and just going into his regular attack string all the time. 
And in my opinion, this is already a really big weakness that n none of his buttons can combo into his specials or even combo into his attack string that does damage. And it, it just isn't dealing damage very often. But all of that is coupled with the fact that you have this throat meter and anytime you use your curse speech, you lose a significant amount of this gauge on the bottom left of the screen. So whether I do my, you know, meterless stun like this and try to go for some kind of situation off of that. Oh, I thought that'd be close enough to the wall. But as you can see, it uses a chunk of that. If I go for my special that's like fall down, it uses another chunk of that. You can use roughly about four specials before it completely runs out. And this gets used up pretty quickly, even if you consider the fact that when I use my regular attack string, it takes down this meter as well. So it goes down pretty quickly, and luckily you do have like the medicine to refill it. But once it's lowered, we have this weakness that our specials are worse and have more recovery because he coughs after them, but they also start hurting you. So you're killing yourself every time you want to try and do something that either just does a, a tiny bit of damage. The only way he can do damage is by hurting himself if you run out of medicine. Luckily, you can't actually kill yourself by using this. So see, now that I'm at a low amount of life, I can't actually do any more damage to myself. So that's at least kind of good. But come on, it seems like it's weakness packed on top of weakness with this character. Now, I don't want to doom too much because I really do like Inumaki and I would like to play him and perhaps, you know, as the tame, as the game progresses, they might buff him or we'll find some secret tech that makes him broken. So I don't want to completely doom and not play him. So this video is going to be talking about how you can play him, even in this state he is in now. Like we mentioned, his regular attack string is pretty simple. It doesn't lead into anything interesting apart from the fact that it does some damage at the end of it. If you do feel like switching it up, maybe you don't want to like spend your meter or go for something, you can actually use the like right before the last hit of it in order to get some kind of recovery reset. I've done most of the attack string, they get blasted in the air, then I go for my B attack and that can actually hit the opponent. And you can try and get something from that, but keep in mind the B attack is never going to lead to any damage unless you're at a very specific uh, positioning from the wall. So although you might build a lot of curse meter from doing this, you're not going to get much damage. Same goes for using triangle or Y as it in a combo. You can actually combo this into itself, but as you can see, nothing really is happening here that's going to let me get any damage. So even though it's cool that it's a combo and you're like, you know, you're doing cool stuff, nothing's going to link, nothing's really going to come from this, even if I'm near a wall. unless you are at the particularly perfect distance in which if the opponent bounces just off of the wall and they don't go further away from you, then you can get a knockdown and some damage. Now, if we want to go for our down attack that's, you know, unblockable and leads to the joint attack chance, um, we can't get our regular combo, but if you do feel like spending the meter, you can actually d try and do like a quick dash up and then going into your... So if I do a dash and then go for this, I can actually get some damage off of it myself. So that is probably a decent way of getting some damage off of something that's kind of useful. You know, it has a decent amount of reach and it is unblockable. So maybe that's a consistent way of getting damage with him. Um, triangle or Y is this flip kick that we've shown off a little bit. If the opponent is pressed up against the corner, like Gojo was just here, you can actually combo into a full combo. But in any other situation, um, you're not really going to get anything from it because it blasts the opponent really far away and you can't get anything from that, unfortunately. Unless you just press B and get this full like B attack string, which once again, unfortunately, doesn't lead to anything except a bunch of hits. But there is always the chance that you could be at the perfect distance where after all of these regular attacks, you realize, oh, I'm kind of in a good distance from the wall. You can try going into that special like it worked just there. But that will, you know, require you to really pay attention to where your walls are. Down triangle is our lovely medicine refill. You can walk around and jump and do whatever you like, just not dash while you do it. So it is relatively safe as long as you're not in the middle of battle. B or circle, like we've shown off already. If you just tap it on its own, it'll lead to this full, like, many, many hit attack string, which is good for building cursed gauge. And if you do happen, like we said, to be right beside pressed against a wall, 
it can actually, oh, if you're lucky, lead to a full combo, but most of the time it won't. But you can actually mash or press the circle or B button again, and it'll do this little bit of cursed speech. It doesn't do any damage, but it knocks the opponent really far away. You can either do it at the very start, or you can get a few more hits, and then do it. And it'll knock the root opponent really, really far away in a long, long blast, and it leads to another long, hard knockdown. So basically, it doesn't do any damage, but it is kind of useful if you just want to get an opponent out of the game for a while. Like, he's just gone, he's flying away, I get a free refill on my medicine if I wanted to. I, like, yeah, if you want some of them to be out of there, perhaps there's like a strong character, like a Sukuno or something, and you just want him out of there so you and your teammate don't have to bother with him, you can just keep trying to blast him away like that every time he tries to run in, because it does really knock him far away for a long amount of time. So yeah, no damage, but it does have some practicality. Now, that's all of his regular attacks. Oh no, we've also got down B or down circle. Now this is actually kind of useful, it has some utility. It doesn't have amazing range, it's like a little bit less than the average mid-range, like Nobara's, um... Whoops, I didn't mean to go for that. Now he's gone for ages. Uh, it has a decent amount of range, and it just, you know, freezes the opponent. Oop, doesn't reach from there. So this is good if you have an opponent that, you know, has very damaging stuff, maybe gives them time to attack the opponent, but unfortunately, you yourself cannot get much damage off of this, you can't go for any kind of combo because if you try to do your combo attack string, it'll like knock the opponent away before you get to do the damaging part of it. So the only way that you can get damage off of this is by doing it and then going into the special directly, which at level three is some damage, but honestly nothing too impressive. But it is cool having this thing that you can just throw out that is like meterless, that just freezes the opponent, but do keep in mind that it will hurt yourself or take some of your throat gauge. Now we can't actually show his other special because it is a parry, I'll have to change to the opponents being AIs, but we can quickly show his ultimate here. It's an average range ultimate, keep in mind ultimates are unblockable, so maybe you can do this after any kind of recovery that you dash up afterwards, or after you freeze the opponent of course. Doesn't work very well against projectiles. You also have to time it perfectly because it doesn't start up instantly and it also doesn't last for very long. Crap! He held it down and of course that means I die. Okay, I did thought he would hold it down. This is really not something even when I'm in this very, very isolated <laughs> scenario that I can use very well. I tried to use there, it even it even used up my curse meter. Oh, there we go. So even when I managed to land this thing, the damage is nothing impressive. And even yeah, I try to use it there against setups or something where you know something will hit you. It's just, uh, parries in games like this are already, like, innately kind of underpowered. Like, they have theoretical power, but in such a crazy volatile game like this, a parry has to be done in... You have to somehow know that something's gonna hit you, and, you know, the game's very weird. There needs to be either, like, more active frames where it lasts for longer, or it needs to be able to start up, like, instantly or do more damage when you actually manage to successfully do it, it just doesn't seem worthwhile. Like I tried to use it there, but as you can see it doesn't start up instantly, so it took my cursed gauge, but didn't even properly activate the parry yet. And yeah, if you do it, you're just spending a bunch of cursed gauge for no reason. And you'll either mess it up, or you'll do it too late, or if the opponent just doesn't actually hit you, then nothing will happen, and I don't know, I don't know, I haven't found, maybe if the opponent has like an attack string and they're just fully mashing on you, then you can mash in between some of the gaps on it. It just, like fuck, <laughs> it's so hard to use well, and even when you manage to get it, it just isn't worth anything more than doing this. 
So like, what? what's the point? What's the point? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, even though we've kind of talked about his general game plan and spent a lot of time talking about his weaknesses, we can talk about his passive, you know, things that are good about him. Uh, you also notice his mobility here is actually quite good. It's one of the, I think there's only two tiers, maybe there's three, but there's worse movement like Nobara, who when she super jumps, like dashes and then jumps, she can't get over this building, but Toge can. So he's got the Gojo level jumping and stuff, which is really good because he can just move really high in the air. Maybe that's useful if you want to try and run away to get your meter up. But unfortunately, being high in the air isn't particularly useful for him because he doesn't have any teleports or projectiles that do anything from up here, except for this drop kick. So if I am dashing around and using my super jumps and I'm really high, I could just boop, flop down, and perhaps if we're near a wall, booyah, I get my one chance to get a combo. So there is potential in using this thing. So like jumping really high, positioning yourself so you face the corner. And maybe that's the high level toge that we need to be playing. And as you can see, even just doing simple stuff like that does build you quite a amount, good amount of cursed energy. And like all characters, he does also have a like passive, but for his, it's just his throat gauge, which kind of sucks because <laughs> like what his throat gauge is what nerfs him. It's what makes it so he can't spam his abilities and do stuff. And that's his passive buff. They do say that, you know, you'll use a little bit less throat gauge depending on your cursed energy level. But like, come on, that's not a buff. That's my, that's my, my nerf. And that's my passive ability. It, that that kind of sucks. That makes me mad, especially after trying him and finding that he, he doesn't get damage off of any of the hits he does. That he, you know, doesn't have any particularly interesting neutral or projectiles or like anything. And then he also has this nerf of his throat gauge. And then that nerf is meant to be his passive ability. Like, oh, that kind of made me mad. But uh, yeah, they're the main general <laughs> strengths that he has. He's got some good mobility and has the ability to just like slam kick on you. And uh, other than that, yeah, I, I'll play with him some more and maybe I'll come up with some amazing tech or find out what's super strong about him. But for the moment, I think Toge players just play him because they like the character because there's not much else going for him at least at the moment the parry is questionable also look at that when i'm at a full curse gauge it costs me four fucking bars sorry sorry it cost me four damn bars for this <laughs> parry that is very hard to use and doesn't really give you that much like hello for what i'm just gonna be using this which also oh, it does some damage but it also cost me four bars that is just that is just kind of ridiculous to me. So yeah, he's fun. Yeah, it's cool that you can freeze people and do stuff like this. And I love the idea of cursed speech. So I'll keep playing him. But I'm going to say I think he's the lowest, if not the worst, character in the game. But we'll see. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you know, Actually, no, let's do a, a quick demo battle like we did in the other one. Just so we give him a chance of at least showing something off. So we'll probably, how we start the round, see I'm not sure, his meter management seems kind of weird because although he has a lot of combos that build up your cursed gauge because they're just, you know, tons of physical hits that don't deal damage, you don't really want to build up his cursed gauge that much because then all of his specials cost you four bars of meter to activate. So it's like, what am I building it for? I guess I get more damage, but it also makes it way harder for me to get anything done. Hey, damn it. Get it. I guess Toge is strong in the fact that he is a character and he can do default things like that. Oops, I got got. Oh, this guy's got armor. Hey, let me try and use my parry against him. Okay, no. Yeah, so it's not the kind of parry you can just throw out and expect the opponent to accidentally hit you when you activate it. You have to activate it like strategically in a gap or as something is about to hit you. You can't just use it. Oops. Oh, did we get a combo from this? I could have actually probably gone into um, the fall down special 
and get a little bit more damage, but you know, whatever, whatever. Ooh, got one. Nope. Good bird. Okay, he's still coming at me. Freeze there. Okay, let me just hit you real quick. Oh, I forgot about my throat medicine. I'm kind of killing myself. I forgot about that. Oh, and he hit me with an unblockable. This guy! Stop! Should I try and run away and drink? I guess there's not really... Actually, that was very stupid. Do never do what I just did. Because when you're at this low level of life, your things aren't um, hurting you anyways. So you may as well just keep spamming them. At the one time, it doesn't actually take damage from you. Oh god. Now, if I don't want Gojo playing here, I can get him over there and start attacking Megumi. Oh crap, I'm probably dead here. Oh no, I live. That didn't work, are you kidding? I thought that was the perfect time to use my parry, as that thing explodes on me. I guess I slightly mistimed it. My bad. Oh crap. Yeah, that thing also has a lot of recovery if you whiff it. So although it's really good at attacking the opponent from the sky, if it doesn't work, it really doesn't work. Don't you dare. Oh, I thought he was right beside me. Oh, I tried to freeze him. Oh, I froze them both. That's good. Oh, he blocked it. What is hitting me? A stupid wolf. Ugh. I don't have any kind of armor. Maybe I should try and use my parry a little bit. Oh, God. No. Should I bother trying to drink now? Got him! Woo. Hey, at least that did a little bit of a decent amount of damage. Oh, you kill him. Oh no! Get out of here! Please! I could have gotten him. I could have gotten him. Let's just blast him. Oh, it wasn't close enough. I wish I had some better range. Come on, it's his voice. His voice should reach a little further than that. Hello? Why oh, it cost me four bars! It's just standing there and bashing the special button because I was like, oh, let's just finally finish him off. But of course, I didn't have enough meter. <sighs> I guess that was a good example of how it feels to play in a monkey. Even though it wasn't great. But I can't believe the bot beat me for MVP. That is so sad. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.